days, particularly after 1 October, the fastest and best response to a situation of an armed individual is going to be the people who come in contact with them first, and that's going to be the security personnel. Casinos, of course, they dominate our valley. You'll find them in every part of Clark County. So we wanted to see what they do to keep their employees and also the people who visit them safe. Yesterday, you saw here on Fox 5, two security guards shot and killed a man who police say was walking through the casino with a gun. Today, Fox 5's Shernay Amara is back at Green Valley Ranch. She found out what it takes these guards to properly secure a casino. Yeah, Christine Cindy. Today I learned that many of those armed guards are actually former police or military with extensive backgrounds in firearms. But you know what? There was a time that you would never see armed guards inside casinos like this. But the retired Metro cop I spoke to said in a post 1 October society, expect change very quickly. I was able to investigate it and get a handle on it. This is Phil Ramos's wall of honor. With 33 years in law enforcement, he knows the ins and outs of protecting and serving, even when the badge says security. They receive just as much, if not more, training than police officers because their liability is so much more. Uh, you know, because they're working for a corporation, they're in a casino where there's hundreds of people at one time. Ramos tells me he was shocked to hear security guards shot and killed a man at Green Valley Ranch Resort and Casino. Police said people inside noticed the man carrying a gun and alerted security. Another patron sees a gun on somebody and they call security. Well, they're going to be very low keyed about the approach and talk to him, say, hey, you know, what's the deal? You got a gun. Um, but in this case, it, it got ugly pretty quickly, and they had no other choice. I mean, once somebody draws that gun and it's coming up at you, you, you have to take immediate action to stop that threat. In a statement to Fox 5, Station Casino says, we're grateful that our security team responded to the situation in a way which ensured the safety of our guests and team members. Now, police are still investigating the circumstances surrounding the shooting, but Ramos tells me different companies have different requirements for armed guards, but they all must not only know how to use a gun, but when. You don't want an officer who is not used to high stress dynamic situations with a gun because he may not react in the proper way. In this day and age, he says more companies are hiring armed guards because you can never be too careful with safety. Security officers are, are very often the absolutely the very first people to confront someone with a gun. So that's why it's important to have uh, your armed officers respond to a situation where there's an armed individual. Um, it, it, it's a dangerous situation to, you know, go to a gunfight with a knife. Now, there's still some unanswered questions about the situation. Again, it's still under investigation, but police did tell me they want the public to understand that, yes, Nevada is an open carry state, but that doesn't mean that you can carry um, anywhere you want. Make sure if you want to come to casinos like this, you call ahead to see if it's okay. Reporting live, Shrenay Amara, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.